future, talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life from Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at ubnradio.com. Heidi Selexa, out of the friend zone. Yee, I'm still dancing to Britney. Woo, you go, girl. Mm-hmm. Hi. It's Heidi Selexa. Welcome to Out of the Friend Zone today. We got a fabulous show. I'll introduce my rockers in a minute. <clears throat> They're on punishment. Uh, yeah, so here's a few stories for you of uh, things that, you know, maybe men that are, are not stupid that they did that is going to keep them <clears throat> in the friend zone. <laughs> okay, there's an Israeli man who lives in L.A. He went back home to vacation uh, with his family and uh, back here in the States he texted his friends with benefits aka best friend and said you know I've been rethinking things I'm trying to figure out how we can continue doing things without somebody getting hurt because I'm over here in Israel and you're not Israeli and I need to marry Israeli women so <laughs> you're screwed Friends with benefits, stop it, okay? Unless of both you have an agreement. By the way, when he comes back to the States, he's never getting the friend with that benefit. <laughs> Unless, never mind. Okay, and the next story is a, uh, there was a nice young man in a store and he saw a woman with a very pretty white dress on. And he said, excuse me, ma'am, would it be okay if I gave you a compliment? And she said, absolutely. That's so nice that you asked. You normally don't have people who ask you if they can give you a compliment. They just say, hey, baby, you're looking good. She's going to be my wife. You know, all these different stories are, hey, how you like to come ride my horse? Say, mm hmm back there down south. <laughs> Not going to get it either. So, uh, you know, they ended up becoming friends, and uh, he would have been in the friends. Wait, that would be out of the friend zone if he had better teeth. My point is, is sometimes uh, there's a grooming issue, which is why women don't like you. So if there's an issue with you and you're like, gosh, we get along so great and she's so nice and she even flirts with me, you might want to smile in the mirror and look at your teeth. And that's okay because, you know, this show is sponsored by Dr. Craig Thede, SoCalOralSurgery.com, my personal doctor. Look how pretty my teeth are. <laughs> Sometimes I accidentally, you know, stay in the friend zone too. So just because you have perfect teeth doesn't mean you're going to get the person. Okay? So I'm happy today. Last night I was a little upset though. I went to this most terrific, I would have to say, uh, band that I have seen in a long time live. Their stage presence is absolutely amazing. Uh, they're from New Zealand. Um, and I feel like I wanted to hang out and party with them after the show. But I was waiting for an hour an hour and I'm like oh my gosh like I'm the kind of girl who like has to get ready in the morning and I have to get up sometimes and you know today was one of those days so I couldn't you know wait for an hour before we started partying like after the show it was so good I was ready to go now you know what I mean like how I feel now let's just party and uh, you know so I came home by myself and I decided um, to re-listen to their music again because it was so good <laughs> and I, I, I did a little story and danced to this one this is how I felt when I was alone last night and I was supposed to be partying with the rock stars just was really upset woo is it on right now engineer I can't hear in my oh, headphones. If you're watching us. You're watching Heidi Slice. <laughs> Tell me when the, the chorus goes. Are we in the Thursday, chorus yet? April 30th. No, not in the 15th. chorus yet. Aren't they great? And I went to They're see awesome, a band tonight. Right? But, um, I'm playing, playing it on my computer. Are you playing it? So they could, you know, okay, never mind. Heidi's little dance story just show. didn't work. Anyway, but with your guys' like, song, I actually was like, yeah, wow, I got to get up in the morning. I was going to start a new revolution where you try to stay up all night after drinking way too much coffee and wine. <laughs> that combination doesn't work. Anyway, I'd like to welcome the most amazing rock band. They're from New Zealand. They are up and coming, and I just love everything about them. Their name is Devil Skin. Here, hi, you guys. Welcome hi. to the show. Hey. Heidi, hi. Hi. Well, well, hi. Heidi, hi. Do that again. Heidi, hi. Do that one more time. Heidi, hi. Put a little more New Zealand accent in that. Heidi, hi. <laughs> Heidi, hi. <laughs> That's great to be here. Thanks for having us on your show. Oh, I just Amazing. love you guys. Oh, and this is your son. Yes, yep, that's yep. me. He's the drummer. Yep. We'll get to you in a minute. You can come sit on my lap later if you want. He's 19. 
Ooh, that's inappropriate. <laughs> um, but here's the wonderful lead singer, Jenny, who's <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously? Like, when you were young, did you just start singing, like, really pretty and then go, Because, <laughs> I mean, really, like, your your stage presence is amazing, too. Thanks. <laughs> and I ended up videotaping you and sending it to a bunch of music promoters I know. Oh, and cool. they were like, oh, my gosh, we love to have them in our club. And they said it's really hard to get a band that good with a really hot lead singer chick. <laughs> Do you know that I was waiting outside the door like I was some groupie, and you guys never came out, and your manager, who's stalking me now, which he should have been last night, uh, you know, just ignored me, and I was lonely. So, um, <laughs> I was. And you guys ended up going out and partying with Ron Jeremy, right? <laughs> Those guys did. Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh, you didn't go? See, you're good. No, I didn't go either. Oh, you good girl. Oh, you didn't? Oh, see, well, you wouldn't have been able to do yeah. what Ron Jeremy does. Not at 19. No. I'm so glad, though. <laughs> what Was it fun? What was it like? Yeah, good fun. You just went out and had a couple of drinks and met a couple of people. And So were yeah. you walking down the boulevard and you went, oh, hey, there's Ron Jeremy. He was in the rainbow. We went to the rainbow. Were you under the table when you saw him or did you recognize him by his face? <laughs> no, there's someone else under the table at the time, but I actually saw his back and recognized that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, I just got that right now. <laughs> Woo! <Woo-hoo! laughs> right over my head. <laughs> I'd like to start with a little treat for you. Did you guys see my little video that I yes. made? Can we please play the little video today in the salon that my hairdresser, he heard your music, by the way, and loved it. And then this is his little tribute to you. That's your hairdresser? Yes. I like him. His name's Javier. <laughs> Hang on. Let me put mine on. <laughs> Whew, okay. Is it on right? Do I have my goatee on? <laughs> <laughs> it's in my mouth. Excuse me, there's a flower bud in my mouth. I have no idea what I look. Do I look prettier than my hairstylist? Or is it on still? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's near enough. That's go. the one. That That's the one. Yeah. Oh, Close enough. Close yeah. enough. That looks good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Swag. Yeah. Right there. I'd like to start a revolution. Cause I get up in the morning. <laughs> oh wow, that was so fun singing by myself last night. <laughs> Jenny, I would have liked to have hang out with just you. That would have been super cool. There were two guys outside the club that were trying to come on to me, and they wanted to come in because they heard your voice and wanted to know if they could enjoy a blonde and a brunette that night. So, <laughs> as you know, I obviously left alone. <laughs> they weren't the kind of guys from the boulevard I would want. <laughs> Neither's one. This is not fitting on. Why did it fit him and not me? Oh, duh. <laughs> really, it's not working. Would you help me? Thank you. I would take the headphones off first. Okay, never mind. I'll just keep talking. So anyway, you guys, how long? Okay, can I read something about you guys? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so Jenny, um, on your website, it's called Devil Skin. I printed out the entire website. <laughs> I love them. Um, it says... <clears throat> Devil Skin formed in June of 2010 in Hamilton, New Zealand, and features the spectacular Jenny Schoolander. Did I say that right? That's right, yep. I'm so good. On lead vocals. Her powerful and compelling voice and alluring stage presence sets her apart from any vocalist New Zealand has put up so far. I would say, and not just New Zealand, but almost the entire world. <laughs> Whoopsies, did I say that? Uh, with an, uh, an earring. Is, is that the word? An earring? An earring? <laughs> Somebody didn't study English in school. Actually, I was a straight-A student in English. Uh, an unerring? That'll do. Whatever. Sure, sure. Gift <laughs> for Melody, Jenny's incredible voice sweeps from whisper to roar, rips the, with power, drips with melody, and captures with sincerity. <laughs> I know, I saw the men in the audience. Jenny previously fronted... Rotorua, I don't know. Rotorua. Thank you. Um, <laughs> anyway, slipping tongue garnering a swath of fans with their videos. Does that mean that you stuck your tongue out and garnered with them? Or? No. I just made that up. <laughs> wow, so you're, so you're so shy right now, but you're so alive on stage. Oh, no. That's, I guess I, you know, become a different person on stage and... Yeah, Do you, and I'm really tired, but... Because <laughs> you were out all night. Well, no, it's just been a long trip. So. Well, yeah, and you really yeah. you really gave it your full all last night. Like, you were into it. As a matter yeah, of oh, fact, it was... That's every night for me yeah. on stage, you know? How do you regroup from that? Do you, like, stay in bed all day or um, have I bubble just, baths or get massages? No, I just make sure I get a lot of rest um, or as much as I can and then normally um, try and eat well and stuff, so... Yeah. Do you eat all organic? 
Um, I, well, I eat pretty healthy back home, yeah. I brought you a kiwi. <laughs> oh, thanks. They're from New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I have, you know, <laughs> yellow tail. They're Australian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's not like a bad wine, other. actually. It's actually pretty good. It, which, I, well, I have you a wine glass. Let's pour it. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm oh, sweet. my gosh, yeah. she's a rock lead. Would you play the, if she doesn't drink wine, hello, play that. This is a together woman. <laughs> <laughs> I am too, but <laughs> not on Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put my. Where's my? It's still there. It's not on my chin though. It's not. It's not. It got all caught up. <sighs> That's what they all say. Hang on, please stay. I don't understand why it worked for Javier and not for Heidier. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. I'm starting a new trend, by the way. <laughs> Let me know when we're back on Jarvis. I can't see and hear a thing. Are we on? Oh, <laughs> whoops, somebody's not on course. Okay, so, um, you know, you guys are amazing on stage. You two just really, like, you're in such sync. You don't see that with a lot of, you know, um, bands that actually, you know, well, I know, well, obviously, look at your beards. What the heck am I saying? <laughs> How long have you guys been playing together for? The band's been together for five years, you know, so um, we've been playing together for five years. You didn't know each other before. You oh, like we knew each other from yeah. from our previous yeah. bands. We were good friends. We'd we'd go out and party and stuff a lot, but um, we hadn't played in a band together till till Devilskin. But um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we we are in sync and, and we we um, work well together. It's just it's a, it's an easy organic thing. We get together and stuff's easy, you know, playing and the energy. Nails' energy's huge on stage, and yeah. we all sort of feed off each other and you know, a little bit of symmetry, and it gets people talking, you know, like me. Yeah. Like everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I saw so many guys in the audience with your goatee. Yeah. And then they were wannabe goatees. They weren't nearly as long and pretty and styled, and they didn't have your color. But they were trying, and you have to give them credit. That's right. And they all shaved their head. They looked like you two. You guys look like, you know, twin brothers. I mean, with a bit of a quick clip, you could look pretty similar to us if you wanted. We have some clippers in James' bag. We could... I'm not going to be shaving my No? <laughs> Just a thought. E <laughs> easier than trying to get a flower to stay on your chin, I think. <laughs> this was supposed... I should just glue it on there, okay? I mean, my hairstylist is all over it. I sh She had a flower in her hair in, in, in you know, the, the pictures, and then you have that. And I said, let's just do a red flower, <laughs> right? Fair enough. So now it's a red flower goatee. <laughs> and you, you're the drummer. I am. So you're his son. Yep. Okay, I kind of know the story. And you just he just said, here, you're angry. Go bang some drums. And then you were really good at it. I just made that up. Okay. So what's the story? Uh, that, that's <laughs> just about it. No, um, we, I mean, the band formed in 2010. And about a year into it, their um, former drummer um, needed an operation on his shoulder. And I was 15 at the time. And they had a whole bunch of gigs lined up. And Dad said, you got to fill in for my band or you're grounded so well here see, i am that's a much better than being grounded well, yeah were you scared the first time i you, was terrified like yeah. the first time were you sweating and yeah I, I i played behind a, someone else's giant kit and i hid behind it and then sort of walked in walked out no hoping that no one saw me but you've been hearing him for years in the band so you yeah. you knew this you know you knew it like he trained you right yeah kind yeah, of. They, they, they sort of recorded the the first couple of songs that they written and gave them to me to learn I, I mean I only had about three weeks to learn them so but since then it's been awesome three weeks you've started doing that banging like that oh no I, I play the drums beforehand <laughs> I'm just kidding. yeah I know I know but I mean with them <laughs> yeah 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 wow I showed your picture to um, Javier and he goes oh he's cute <laughs> <laughs> I said yeah he's 19 I said he can sit on my lap during the show and I'll be his mommy. <laughs> I'm 25. So anyway, um, let's play their first song, uh, which is... <laughs> you guys are so cute. Look at they giggle the same. <laughs> let's all giggle together. Can we play <laughs> um, Start a Revolution? And I'll do my little sign. Mine. As I lead the blind 
she's right, and she is sitting Myrtle. there. Oh, do that again. Myrtle. Did you do that as a kid when you were angry or with your mom? You're like, Myrtle. 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 <laughs> no. How did you know you could start doing that? Oh, I just did it one day and it worked. So I'm all rocking out, and I was hoping, well, she was going to join me. So this is why I wanted to play with her after the show. And she's sitting there all innocent. I don't need any wine. I'm fine. Oh. I eat healthy, and I get lots of sleep. Plenty of rest. And well, actually, I, I am pretty boozy, but it's been a long, long Well, you know, trip. if you have a hangover, you should do, what's that, chase the tail of the dog or the dog's here's tail? The, here's, here's the, the dog. dog. Whatever the dog. it is. Yeah. It's just have some wine, okay? It'll just chase take the, the hangover. Chase really, the you, you should. Would you like a beer? No, no. Darn it. I, just... I gotta go on a plane for 12 hours. And oh, that's right. You guys out. are supposed yeah. to be going to LAX <laughs> yeah. in traffic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. They'll hold the plane. I'll call them. <laughs> I'll show them your video. <laughs> so, um, now, how did you... <laughs> I like you guys. We might get stuck here. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a shame? You guys should just come play with me all the time. You guys can Skype in, by the way, from New Zealand. Great. You can, they can Skype in on the show, and you guys could just kind of enjoy us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just pop in and say, we're listening. You know, don't forget to play my songs. So um, did you always know you could sing? I, I'm always curious. Like, I, you know, I started singing in the shower, and my mom said I was nasally. So that just ruined it for me. <laughs> it, it affects you, you know? It does. I guess I kind of fell into it when I was 14, 15. Um, I mean, I grew up on my dad's music, like Judas Priest and Dio and, you know, that sort of thing. And um, used to try and mimic voices when I was younger. And then do some. Can you do like? Um, <laughs> can you do like a, a different accent other than New Zealand? Uh, can, can you, <laughs> last night she goes like this. I actually recorded the the little clip. She goes, "This we have the stage show of like her that I." But, but she goes. Well, I'd like to thank the folks here from the South who just came all the way out from Houston, Texas to see me. How y'all doing? And then she goes, yeah! <laughs> it was, like, super cool. I taped it. Can we play the little clip of them live? Oh, okay. I have it on my phone. I just want to – I want you to see their stage presence because I have – honestly, have – like seriously was not all like you guys are serious professionals <laughs> i want to have you do my theme song in, <laughs> in, in your pretty happy voice and then your angry voice <laughs> how are you so extra? like i really i just you know it just depends on the mood that i am in on the day and that just changes everything i try to be even keel but you know i'm a woman okay here we go this is them i don't let me see if i can get a louder watch her She's great. Look at you guys. You guys are so in sync. I got all of you, by the way. That's fine. Yeah. That's us. Pretty her, tight, aren't we? You know. You guys are so tight. <laughs> well, I haven't seen your pants today, but <laughs> you didn't hear that, sweetie. Hey, on, didn't hear anything. You just go bang on the drums in your room by yourself when you're angry. No, I'm kidding. But you, you, now you're you're you you have such great lungs, and and do you ever just get like you're up there singing and you're like I just need to breathe? And oh it, yeah. What do you do if it's in the middle of the of the you know ah you know. Ah, I mean, do you, ever, you don't ever choke like that? Because I probably would choke. No, I guess, you know, I, I know when the when, notes are coming up, so I prepare myself and, uh -huh. yeah, I know. Jenny, yeah, Jenny yeah. takes her, sorry, um, Jenny takes her singing really seriously. She warms up a lot before the show. She um, keeps really fit. She goes to the gym a lot and eats well and gets lots of sleep, which is what you have to do mm. when you're singing at that level, you know? Yeah. You know, we can go out and party all night. Us two can get away with it because we don't need much beauty sleep, obviously. But, um... <laughs> You know, oh, for a vocalist. You are so sweet. A little aloe vera will just perk you right up. No, you guys are so cute. You, you look fine. You look like you've had plenty of sleep. But, I mean, you know, at, at the level we're at, we... Not alone, but asleep. No, I'm kidding. We need, we, need to, um, we need to keep at the top of our game. And, you know, yeah, and Jenny yeah. takes all r really seriously. So, you know, it's something you have to do. Because oh, uh, yeah. you just look at you're like, yeah, she's so cool. What a party wear. And uh -huh. the guys are like, they're all taping you last night. They're, you've, you're so used to men drooling over you. 
Uh, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're so shy. <laughs> Have you always been so shy? Yeah, yeah. And then you get on stage and it's like, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, what you do is amazing. Can you do a little live something, or did I not warn you? You know what? We can play. Um, yeah, if you can. Okay. You, or should uh, I we play another song and let you warm up? Should we let you do your? Ah, da, da? I don't know. Uh, what, kind of, what are your warm ups like? Uh, or are they like? Ah. We'll do it. We'll do it. Oh God. Hey. Hey, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's like amazing. You've got the lungs. And then of you go, and then you go, fuck you. You're <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Call me through. That was our, bad, father, our father in heaven, <laughs> hallowed be your name. Dear Jesus, I'm sorry for walking on the wild red side. <laughs> Woo, that's what you guys, the wild red. That's amazing. Thanks. Do, 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 when, when you're mad at your boyfriend, or <laughs> do you do that? Do you? No. Oh, no. no. I probably would. You should. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you guys, do you have girls, like, you know, at the end of the stage, like I was when I, hello, and I told you I was there, and, and then they're there the whole night. Do they flash you and try to creep up on stage or Yeah, they flash you? their beards at us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and their mustaches. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> actually, he's he's actually deadly serious. Yeah. There's been women turn up to our shows with fake beards, mm. yeah. real yeah. red beards that they yeah. actually can grow. No, no, they no. just stick them oh. on, you know, <laughs> and dye them oh. red. It's still yeah. disturbing, you know. It's I, I thought I was the only one who invented that. Yeah. <laughs> what do they glue them on? Because yeah. I obviously didn't know. Yeah, they do. Yeah. It's creepy. But, it. but what if they're really hot and everything's hot It's still about creepy, them? yeah. And they're like... <laughs> if they were hot... Oh, and they're like, I'm here. If they were hot, they've just destroyed it by wearing a beard. It's just... It's, yeah. We'll never get used to that. So stuff. you would never, you know, make out with one backstage with a beard? No, no, no. What if no. she took it off before? No. Once you see her with the Once beard... Once you've seen it, yeah, it's yeah, pretty it's, much done. It's all over. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. It's all over, yeah. yeah. You moment, know what? The moment's gone, you know. Oh, but you guys remind me of ZZ Top a little bit, just with the beers, except it's red. I don't know. I'm sorry for saying that, but I, well, I how, like ZZ. How, how, how? <laughs> how, how, how? <laughs> 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 well, nice girls. <laughs> and, 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 and you have just like the power of Janis Joplin. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and then I can say my Armenian aunt, Cher. <laughs> What's up, home girl? Um, yeah, no, seriously, you've got that lung capacity. Have thanks. you ever done anything bad to your body, like party too much? or you know mm. smoked a cigarette when you were 13 you know behind the school or were you allowed to do that in New Zealand is there is that, yeah. is that for bad kids or is that just America they're all bad kids in New Zealand yeah. Yeah. so why do you guys like Australians sorry Excuse okay me? never mind I should <laughs> can we play little pills I was looking for a bottle of pills to pour on me during the song because I forgot mine um, <laughs> nobody had any bottles of pills or aspirin <laughs> let's play it Valium <laughs>
<laughs> Dear Jesus. <laughs> What was I saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was another tongue that just came out of me. <laughs> no, really. I love how you do that. Thanks. Did you just like start walking around your house or were you rehearsing with him and you said, hey, let's try this. Rah! Oh, no, I've been doing it for a few years. I've been, really? I've been in bands for about 15 years, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I guess when I was at high school, I just, there was a band playing in our music room and I sort of went in there and they let me on the mic and I did that and I was like oh shit I didn't know I could do it you so. didn't know you could sing well I didn't know I could do the scream and I mean I I, I liked singing but I didn't think I was a, a singer I don't know I mean that's the best one I've heard even better than Satan <laughs> <laughs> thanks <laughs> I mean, can, we just just can we use that Heidi can we use that sure can yeah. absolutely <laughs> just a little courtesy of Heidi Selexa and her red beard <laughs> <laughs> Did I accidentally lick your tongues? I apologize. Not. So, um, you know, I just feel like you guys are awesome and I want you guys to be discovered. And I'm talking like discovered like all the time. Like I have played your music over and over again. And I, I just, I don't normally like uh, metal music, but you guys really aren't that. I mean, I'm sure there's metally, more metally songs than... Does that even make any sense? It makes a little bit of sense. Yeah, yeah, Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, totally. Yeah. There's yeah. probably harder songs, yeah. but mm. I mean, you know, she always comes out with like this really beautiful, you know, sound, and then she goes. <laughs> so it's like two people coming out of her. Yeah, <laughs> she's it in is. character. It's just all women. Do There's that. some beautiful melodies that are going on yeah. there as well. As, mm. So yeah. I mean, you're really amazing. Thanks. You know, so I'm glad you found your gift. Cheers. Glad, was it band, like band camp, or was it actually a band? <laughs> band camp? Well, you know, in America, we have band, like the big band, like they uh, play. Like this the one's one? The, no, no, no. no. <laughs> you know, he would be the drummer boy. That would be like the, the, no, <laughs> the, the marching band. It's the, yeah, and you guys, you guys would be, I don't know, some big trumpet or something, and you would turn it into like a guitar and a bass player. <laughs> no, we've got nothing like that over there, so. Well, oh. back home. <laughs> That's just America. Okay. Okay. Rah, rah, <laughs> devil skin. <laughs> D-E-V-I-L. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Uh, we'll do one more song as we close out with you guys because you guys have to run to the airport. But I want you to know anytime you're in the U.S., you come on my show and I'd like to hang out with you next yeah, time. I mean, sure, if I'm sure. too wild for you, <laughs> I'll try to settle down that day. <laughs> Absolutely. Consider it done. We yeah. do apologize for last night. We had, did have a couple of interviews mm, and did. stuff and, and some uh, gear to pack up as well. So With Ron it? Jeremy? <laughs> that, that was later on. That was different gear. We could have called me. <laughs> different Did you gear. not have my telephone number? I almost called your New Zealand number and said, I'm here! <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you're welcome. You come to New Zealand, you'll love the place. We'll oh show you gosh, around. I would yep. love to. My brother surfs there all the time. I've never been there. Come I'm over. sure they don't speak like Valley. It's but. not very far. It's only 13 or so hours on a plane. you love it. Yeah. How many yeah. hours? About 13 after, uh, once you count the queues at both ends. Yeah. You know? We'll just take a Valium and fall asleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's as many hours as I left your show last night, and I've been up the whole time. Right. Practicing. I actually videotaped myself, and I got some, um, you know, video, but not all the audio. But I, I did a full rock concert in my apartment, and, you know, they were banging on my wall saying, Shut up! <laughs> and I was like, I've been living here first! <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're going to play your last song that we have, you know, because I think you guys are amazing. Devil Skin, everyone. Can you give your uh, website and your tweets and your Facebook and all that? Uh, yeah, uh, devilskin.co.nz. And uh, Twitter, we're on uh, at Devilskin NZ. Okay, that's yeah. NZ in American. Yeah. 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 Oh, I. It was just you know I just couldn't have you guys talk forever. I don't care what you say. <laughs> I love the accents. Heidi, we've we've bought some some copies of our live album, <gasps> oh, yeah, the live yeah, yeah. DVD. Oh yeah, let's give them away really yeah. quick. Um, it's, so it's, why don't it we... was filmed um, on our album tour, and it's um there's a thousand people in the audience just going crazy. It's, it was a really cool night and. The, the video looks spectacular, so... You I'm know. sure the chicks up front looked I, like I did last night. I'm like, yeah, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> She's great! <laughs> Almost as crazy, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chuck. There's quite that. a famous venue back in New Zealand called the um, the Power Station, and um, it was filmed there. It's not quite as iconic as the whiskey, obviously, <laughs> but um, it's pretty important to, to us back home. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and that was like, you know, a big sold-out show. It was quite a big deal for us, so we filmed it in... Um, come out pretty cool oh you yeah. guys are great you guys are sweet and nice and you get on stage and it's like i want to love him <laughs> <laughs> um so please call right now look at it look at infomercial for devil skin dvd the number is uh what's our number engineer three two three two three two eight four seven eight two six seven eight two six three two three seven eight four seven eight two six you can also tweet and facebook me 
at Heidi Selexa is my Twitter handle. Um, and I just learned how to tweet. <laughs> Apparently, I shouldn't be saying some of the things I say. <laughs> and uh, in my <laughs> Facebook is Heidi Selexa Official. That's H-E-I-D-I-S-E-L-E-X-A Official. Or you can email me through my website at Heidi Selexa.com. S-E-L-E-X-A. Like the pill, but the happy version with an S. Because <laughs> I'm part Armenian and it's in my Armenian name. So thank you so much, you guys. We're going to end it with uh, the last song, and we're going to bring on the next group, which you guys know, Pay Shifters. Oh, yeah, cool. They're the cool, cute yeah. little 20-year-old guys that all the chicks, you know, <laughs> run around naked for. Uh, so they'll be here right after this song. Thank you so much. I love you guys. No worries. Thanks, thanks, for thanks for having us. Thank, thank you. Awesome.
good. Uh, you know, I kept them here because I like them so much. They're going back to New Zealand in about five minutes, and I'm sad. It's <laughs> tears rolling out of the <laughs> eyes. Uh, but you guys actually really quick have a meaning behind that song that we wanted to briefly discuss that it's re- relatively serious. Um, yeah, I wrote that song after a friend of mine uh, passed away a few years ago. So, um, yeah, obviously the song's called Never See the Light, and it's completely based on him. Um, yeah, he committed suicide at 25, so... Yeah, it was, it was pretty hard, but um, yeah, yeah, I, you know, I feel like every time I perform that song, I sort of, I'm like singing it to him. If it was so, uh, that yeah. was the song you wrote after. Yeah, after he he passed. And away. you played music with him. Um, um, I I never played music with him, but he used to come watch my shows, and I'd go watch his shows because he played bass in a in a metal sorry metal band in New Zealand, and he was amazing, and he was such a funny funny guy, right? A real funny guy, just loads of fun and. Yeah. <laughs> so do you feel like if he had not been deported back to Japan and was able to live in New Zealand, that you know that could have been prevented uh, the depression? Yeah, possibly. Because yeah. you know, I was saying I can't imagine you being held against your will and saying you can't live where you want to live. Mm. Like you know, what it's like. Whoa, what if you just know you? It's like you're just so out of sync and out of place, and mm. then it just spirals and it continues. And then when they say no, you can never go back. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's got to be depressing. But, I mean, it, it affected all of us, and um, just we wanted to do something positive and, and also keep his spirit alive, so we've, we've got a couple of little samples of him doing his yep. crazy dolphin noises in yeah, there. And so there's a little bit, of, little bit of him that still comes with us and wait, stuff. Wait, and which, uh, which... Never See the Light is the name of the song. Yeah, no, but what, where's the dolphin? Uh, if you listen to the start. start, you can hear some creepy little noises, and it's him. Right at the beginning of the song, <laughs> I'll yeah. listen, yeah. but no, I mean, I know your music is... So do the neighbors. But, um, <laughs> but, wow, that's amazing that you guys, you know, made that song for him. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's good for us too to also keep people, you know, give a positive message and, and the fact that, you know, depression affects a lot of people. So mm. um, Not just the person who's depressed. Exactly. Yeah. And, mm. yeah, and, you know, just to let people know that, you know, you've got friends around you and there's hope, there's always hope sort of thing. So It's hard for people to call up, pick up the phone and call someone, especially nowadays because nobody calls. And to take the energy to email, text and say, I'm really depressed and explain what you're feeling is also very difficult. So yeah. I think, you know, when you have a good friend or somebody and they call you, pick up the phone because you don't know if they just need to say, hey, I don't That's know right. what it is, but I'm depressed and I just need to tell someone Mm -hmm. you know because I was very depressed like two weeks ago and I don't know why I just couldn't get out of bed and it could have been part of the carbon monoxide poisoning from my stove or like a combination of things or just me with frustration and overwhelmment but it was bad enough for me to uh, finally say to my mom hey sorry when I came out to visit you and I wasn't really talking but I've been crying for two weeks and Mm -hmm. I'm really depressed but it took me that long to tell her you know Mm -hmm. so I do get it Mm -hmm. So, you know, but, 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 you know, it's a breath of fresh air to know that, you know, somebody has somebody to talk to. Yeah. To right, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you know? Absolutely. So, but thank you so much. You guys are fantastic. I don't want to yeah. let you go. Holly, thanks <laughs> for coming to our show and, and yeah, thanks yeah, for playing yeah. our music on your show. And we, we really appreciate it. Yeah. We, we love this country. It's been amazing. Everyone has been so well, you, good to us you, here. Every time you come back, you're here and I must know. And then would you Skype in? I'd love to see your rehearsals or whenever you're performing in New Zealand on live. I mean, sure. the manager guy has been taping everything we're doing so he can <laughs> Skype in and say, here they are. But really, you guys are fantastic, and the fact that you guys are actually solid, normal people. You might Skype in from Motley Crue. Yeah, yeah you guys are playing with Motley Crue. We're playing with Motley yeah. Crue. When are you playing yeah. with Motley Crue? Nine Love days Tommy. from yeah. next week. Nine days, yeah. Where? When? Monday? Um, no, uh, Saturday, the ninth of May. Yeah, on the ninth is of it? May. Is it in New Zealand? Yeah, yeah. 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 You guys are, are you guys opening for it? Yeah, mm-hmm. Motley Crue and Alice yeah. Cooper. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the group that was here last week, Ven Ray, they tour with Alice Cooper. Right, right. wow. And cool. awesome. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much. Devil Skin, can you give your Facebook out? Because we forgot that also. Yeah. Uh, it's facebook.com slash devilskinnz. Okay, and remember to call, uh, you know, call, uh, call, pick up the phone and call 323, what's my phone number again? 284 I'll try to remember that. 7826. And you can also just go to my Facebook, Heidi Selexa Official, or tweet me at Heidi Selexa, and I can give you all of their information since I'm their new best friend. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be right back with, I, we, we have your friends coming on, the Pay Shifters. Right, yeah. right, awesome. right They're, they're, they're yeah. fantastic yeah. They're awesome. live, so yeah. they're going to come on and just, you know, have a fun time because you guys have to go to the airport. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us, Heidi. So we're going to start with, the, let's play the first Pay Shifter song, you know, while I'm hugging and kissing their face again on the way out. So it looks like I'm doing something <laughs> instead of sitting here twiddling my thumbs with my bottle Attention, of wine. Everyone. Yeah. This is an emergency broadcast. <laughs> the unpleasant noise you are about to hear coming from your radio is not a mistake. Please do not turn off your radio. 
but turn up the volume as loud as it can go so you can make the sound we broadcast as loud as possible. shifters and they're from the netherlands they're um, convening with devil skin outside because they're friends uh really quick the show's been brought to you by dr craig Thede, socal oral surgery.com so for a pretty smile fresh breath just really getting your teeth in shape you know with musicians and just sometimes people get in fights at bars and they might knock a tooth out um you just go <laughs> running to dr Thede and he'll replace it do you guys know what i'm talking about they didn't hear me anyway so oh yeah the camera's on me. Oops, all about Heidi. Uh, so, yeah, and also, uh, he can do an entire mouth in 24 hours if you need great teeth, or he can do any kind of surgery from the neck up. People fly from all over the world. He does amazing cleft surgeries. He's just fantastic at what he does. He's also your own personal doc in your pock. So, if you feel like, hey, you know, if I call, I may get the receptionist and never talk to him for a week. No, he calls you right back. He's always there for you. As a matter of fact, he calls you and says, I'm the tooth godfather, and I am here. So never be afraid. So just go to SoCalOralSurgery.com, Dr. Craig Thede. You can also just get the information from me because I'm the tooth godfather. Also, uh, Renee Lynn, AgeInterventionist.com. Look at my beautiful skin. Beautiful. It's just glowing. 24 karat gold facials. <laughs> I'm actually, um, you know, 25, but I look 12. <laughs> you don't need to know how old I am. So, uh, yeah, so anyway, she does amazing stuff, and she can take care of your skin, and it's all natural and homeopathic. No surgery. No surgery. Yes, the lady's lips are real. Um, you know, they just had Renee Lynn in them. So 
please check out ageinterventionist.com. Okay? Oh, and my hair and makeup were done today by Heidi Salon on Melrose Avenue. They are amazing. One day I was driving down and I said, I need to get my nails done fast. And, oh, it's Heidi. So that's my name. So I went in and they're so good. They get you in fast, easy, and they do everything amazing. I've never had my makeup done so fast and quick that was this good. Uh, as a matter of fact, I won't go to anyone else. And look what they did to my hair. I'm blonde now. Well, somewhat blonde, but she did this. She just went, oh, I know exactly what to do with you. And I had no idea, which means I have to get new photos because <laughs> I don't look the same. I mean, I kind of do, but not my hair. So anyway, um, please check out Heidi Salon on, on Melrose Avenue. And their prices are great. You're going to love them. And also, that was my uh, you know, stylist, Javier, was one of them, the one that had the red beard. So I'd like to bring on this hottest new group coming out from the Netherlands and they're amazing live. They're called the Pace Shifters. Um, and you know, they're hot and young and they're focused, which is really rare. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. Good evening. It was really fun hanging out with you at the pool at the Roosevelt Hotel. You got your beer? I brought your beer. Yeah, thanks. For I guess you're 18. I hope that wasn't too many. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you're 18, right? No. You can have one for each year you were alive. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So um, you guys are great thanks. on stage, too. You have, for as young as you are, you guys have amazing stage presence. I did a performance for you to the music video that I taped on my camera last night, and cool. I was watching the crowd. I think it was in front of uh, 10,000 people. It's the one on your website uh, where all the girls are like, yeah, and, you know, I was like, yeah, look at them, and you guys jam. I know you guys are brothers. We are. And um, is that why you guys think you play so well together, or do you guys have any having moments where you're like siblings, like, you know, I don't like him today, and I'm going to, you know, not play with him well? Or do you guys always just put the music first, which I know you, I'm sure you do, but are no, there... We're not Oasis. <laughs> we're just, we, uh, we, uh, oh, you're not Oasis? No, we're not. <laughs> Let me repeat no. that. No, just kidding. But, uh, but they're great. They're great, of course. I think we, yeah, we all like the same music, and that's why we, yeah, play so well together, I guess. We... Right, and we played March, so yeah. well, you we guys are sold out. you guys are brothers, and um, your stepfather, uh, you know, said, "Hey, you two, I, he loved music and said, "Go, you know, learn this," and you guys did mm -hmm. it. That's true. Uh, he yeah, he saw you and said, "I see rock stars in them." <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> you, you, you were like, "Okay, <laughs> Dad, thanks." But you guys are really, you know, your vocals are great, your performance is great, and you guys are so fun and cute. And then I'd like to introduce my cousin over here. <laughs> Hello. He's he's the, he's like hello. Do you know? <laughs> do you want to say what my name is if you're my husband? His name is Jesper. By the way, that's a cute name. I've never heard that before. Thank you. It's a it's a Danish name. Oh. From Denmark. Uh, is it a famous dentist? I don't know. No, it's not a dentist. But <laughs> it's not a dentist. I thought he said a dentist. No, no, not the dentist. Danish from Denmark. Oh, Danish. 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 Oh gosh. Heidi. Oh, sorry. Get your accents right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, no, he's fun. He was hanging out at the pool, and he's like the the comedy one. You're shy right now. Just loosen up a little. Would you like some oh, wine? I'm not shy. Did you get a beer? <laughs> uh, yes, but I forgot it. So. <laughs> Can I grab it? Or, uh, you can grab it, okay. and then when you come back, we'll talk about our, our heritage. Nice. Um, <laughs> so why don't we do the music video you guys did? And sure. um, did you guys just say, did you guys come up with the concept of the music video together for the song Drone? Um, no, actually it was a school project of somebody who needs to do a live registration. Oh, really? That's cool. And then all of a sudden it's like a hit video. Yeah, you guys are rocking. You guys are hot. Your influences, when I heard it, I went, ah! I know they were in the womb when Nirvana was out, and a, a little bit of Stone Temple Pilots, uh, Billy Corgan, and there's been some influences, and I, I'm not comparing you guys to them at all. Don't think I'm doing that. I'm just saying that it's funny how, uh, you know, I said that to your stepdad. He goes, well, yeah, that's when, <laughs> that's that was your stepdad's, you know, music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, um, did was it just something that came natural for you when you started playing? Well, we just listened to that kind of music, so I think, yeah, if you like those music, you're going to make that stuff yourself too, I guess. I don't yeah, know. you try to play it on the guitar, and and then you ma write your own songs, and 
How yeah, did you guys know which one of you was going to be the singer and which one? I mean, because I know you guys both did. sing. You guys both sing, right? So yeah. Yeah. do you guys switch we lead? We all sing. Yeah. Drummer too, so yeah. I know. We don't have like a front man. It's just three guys. Okay, yeah. so do you take some songs solo and then you take some and you take some? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. M- most okay. most of the time we just write it together. So I think uh, sometimes Seb comes up with a guitar riff and then we just jam. Uh, yeah, jam on it and then work it out. Boy, I would have fun doing that. It mm-hmm. wouldn't sound any good, but I would have fun. Yeah, you guys just fun. must. I know you guys probably have fun when you're just jamming at home. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. <laughs> most fun. Yeah. I always feel like you're just gonna bust up laughing at any moment, but you held you hold it back. <laughs> you guys have great stage presence too. <laughs> Thanks. You know, really good stage presence. So how did you guys uh, come up with it? Is there any meaning behind some of the songs? Like when you write, do you like, you know, come up with like, is there something going on in your life where you come up with words? Yeah, of course. And then you put the music together? Of course. Yeah. This is my cousin, by the way. (laughs) His last name is the same as my um, dad's, which was my birth name, Albers. Albers, And then my mother's name is, our, you know, selects that we're Armenian. So you mix you know armenian with you know scandinavian and there i am <laughs> grandfather grandfather i'm here just kidding um so <laughs> never mind that went right over their head so you guys kind of you know play to get you guys like you know have words and then you put the music together yeah, you know, most time we start with the music i guess and like jesper was saying a uh, step start with a guitar riff or something and then we come in and it just becomes a big jam and then we yeah we select the best yeah. parts yeah. and record it and I'll just have you guys talk. I love the accents. You should okay. talk over there. Just keep talking <laughs> on the microphone. Hello. <laughs> so can we have your website and your social media? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, the fans, which will be lots of girls and guys, by the way, because this show is to help men understand what women want. And they're cool, but they're not stuck up. Yesterday they said, we're not rock stars. We just like to play music. And I thought that was very humble of you guys. Thanks. Uh, being that you guys, <laughs> uh, insane focus, too really good focus and uh, lots of uh, well-known musicians uh, that I know that I sent your stuff to said these guys are gonna these guys are it like they're the next thing and I said they're also focused they're good looking and they're in their 20s and they're just really solid and sound and he says that's what it takes so congratulations to you guys thanks um, thanks what's your website and your social media um, our website is www.payshifters.com and, and your Twitter uh, same thing it's all patient yeah okay Heidi stop asking stupid questions over and over again that's <laughs> P-A-C-E-S-H-I-F-T-E-R-S I'm Heidi Selexa and you've been watching and listening out of the friend zone thank you so much see you next week Heidi Selexa out of the friend zone